everybody, welcome, it's Scarlet Peach Self-Sufficiency and today I'm going to do a little comparison video for you explaining the differences between the 230 Brother KH230 and KR230 and the Brother KH260 and KR260. These are machines that will do chunky mohair and double knitting yarn. So they are a larger gauge, as you'll see here, than normal machines. But there's quite a difference between the two, and people often think they can buy a ribber for the 230 and put it straight onto the 260, and it just won't work. Let me show you some of the things that are different about the two sets of machines. Firstly, we've got some strange extra bits and bobs, presser feet and various bits and pieces to help with holding position. I thought it would be easier to show you them actually in the instruction book. So this is the presser foot here, and the presser foot goes into this little hole at the side. The 230 has these, the 260 doesn't. This is in order to help the machine push the work out of the way. So if you need to take the carriage off or do anything, you need to take these presser feet out of the way. Another thing that's different with the 230 is that it has this button here that you press up and that allows you to unclip and take off the carriage. That's very different. And another thing that's different on the sinker plate, as I call them, but I think they call them a presser plate. Let me just take it off. There's the lock, see? But the other thing that's different is it has this cog system and that cog chugs along and fits in here and helps hold down the top carriage because the carriage can lift off because that's the way it's designed but with that all clamped together it helps it stay on the machine. We also have these extension racks they work in conjunction, conjunction with the presser foot here one goes on the left, one goes on the right. A bit of a fiddle, but once you get used to it, it's fine. With the 230 on the knitting machine, the KH230, we only have part in one, both directions with one lever, rather than being able to select a left part and a right part. So that's quite different. The KH260, you can choose left or right part. And here we have the same here. We have partial knitters here. So if we're going to do the cast on comb, cast on rows, the selvage, we have to make sure that if we're going across to our right, we know the carriage on top is going to go to the right and be not knitting in the right direction when we put it on part. So on this side, then we're going to need to use the left one up and that's set to part on the right or both sides to knit one row across. That's a bit of a difference. I will say it has a very clear, good instruction book, so you can quite clearly say the, see the selections you need to make on the carriages. This one here is for English Fisherman's Rib, which I've just done. The, the book is very good. This is showing you putting in the presser feet here and taking them out. The book's very good. It goes into maintenance and general changing of needles, like all instruction books should have. Another difference on this machine is the 260 doesn't have this little adapter to change the tilt position to bring forwards your mast. That's new. We don't have that on the 260. Along with all those differences, one more thing that's very different. Holding position is different on this machine. I believe we have to use one of these things. And if we don't, if we pull the needles out to all the way out, they're always in holding position. Um, you have to use these selectors, I believe, which I haven't used, but I just don't pull them all the way out to holding position if I'm working, otherwise they will be held. So it automatically holds to holding position. There isn't an easy switch here to select non-holding or holding, but that's fine. You've got these other bits and bobs to do it with. But the major, major, major change, difference, is the amount of needles. There are less needles on the 230s than there are on the 260s. So on this one, 110 needles. We have 55 each side and 55 each side on the top. And I believe on the 260, we have more on the top. I'll have to check that when I do the other side of this video to show you the 260. We have holding position here. 
and we have our row trippers, row counters here. And we have a slide on row counter rather than a built in that slides in here. That's I like that with a lot of the brothers. And I'll have to go check my 260 to tell you if it's the same on that. Other than that, it's all brilliant. It's a lovely strong machine. I've just done a lovely piece of ribbing with it. Nice and smooth to use. A good strong machine capable of working hard. I like the metal beds, as you'll probably know from one of my other videos where I talk about the plastic bed machine, which I don't enjoy using, and I upset people by saying that. Both the 230s and the 260s do not have a P and H selection like the standard gauges do. It just means extra movement to get to the H, the half pitch and the full pitch with the racking handle. But that's the same on both of the 260s and the 230s. One last thing I nearly forgot to tell you about. And that's this cute little tension mast. It is different. It threads up slightly differently. Let's unthread it and show you. So we slide the yarn across the hole at the top, wrap it around and pull down to make sure it's threaded up. And to pack away, you pull down at the back and the antenna come all the way down. Look at that, that's quite nifty. I quite like that actually. And on the back, as I pull up for you to see, doing this one-handed as usual, here we go. That's how the back of it works. Take it away or put it in. And obviously there is another difference I forgot to tell you about. I keep forgetting all these bits and bobs. What's missing? It does not have a punch card. So you can't use punch card on this easily because there isn't one there. You can't use the two colours. But what you can do, as I come around here, We've got an intarsia function on the carriage built in. So we can do picture knitting and intarsia, but we can't use a punch card because it doesn't have it. Now the benefits of that is this is a really lightweight machine, strong, really good and sturdy. So it's strong and light. So we could take that on holiday really easy. It's much easier for you to do a breakdown and clean up at home, which is what I've done in an earlier video. Please check out for that one. Um, it's quite basic for maintenance. You're not going to have any problems stripping it down and repairing it yourself. There's nothing really that's going to go wrong. And like I say, it's lightweight enough to put in the car and take on holiday. So if you can't carry heavy weights and want the strength of a metal bedded machine, but the convenience of a plastic lightweight, you've probably got it here in this. It's much lighter. These are the instruction manuals they come with. This is its version of Fair Isle by using the part knitting lever here. We can select the motive ourselves and put the yarn in the feeder. Selecting the, uh, the needles ourselves here. And the needles that are back will not knit. The needles that are pulled forward will be our colour. And you can also do this with skip stitch patterning. Pull up stitch or what I would call tuck. You can do it in two colours. Once again, really clear instructions for using the machine to do this. As with most brothers, there's a plating position we can use, plating yarn, and a picture knitting or intarsia, remembering how to lay the yarn across in front and wrap the, the yarn to stop from holes. So yeah, it is very handy, a useful, good machine. I do hope you find this review of the 230 and the differences between the 230 and 260 useful. I will do another video now to show you how the 260 is different to the 230. Hope I've not offended anybody like I did with the other one on the plastic bed machine. Have a look at that one if you want to see. There's a few comments there that get a bit heated about it. But I'm a metal bed machine lover and this is a great, great chunky machine. If you just want basic and a bit of hand manipulation, this is the machine to go for. If you want that bit extra with the punch card and the extra weight and more mechanism, then you go for the 260. Please like, subscribe, share and give me a comment so I know you're there. See you all very soon in the next video. 
Thanks for watching. Lots of love. Mwah! Don't forget to comment and subscribe.